Welcome to the Success in Africa podcast with Dr. Modupe, your weekly dose of leadership vitamins to make you successful in Africa. Hello and welcome to the third episode of the Success in Africa podcast. My name is Dr. Modupe and I am a scholar and practitioner of leadership and organizational development. Simply put, I study what makes people successful. I have been studying this for three decades with a particular focus on people in Africa. And in this podcast, I will share stories, insights, and lessons about people who are successful in Africa. Why this podcast? Because I am sick and tired of Africa being the poorest continent in the world. We are blessed with the world's greatest resource, that is young people. Africa will soon have the largest number of working age people in the world. And when these people achieve success, Africa's wealth will be unparalleled. Why? Because I don't know of too many Africans whose goal in life it is to die poor. Success is simply the achievement of a predetermined life goal. For some people, it's as simple as being able to educate their children to university level. For somebody else, it may be creating employment for a thousand people. For somebody else, it may be transforming their country into a high income nation. Whatever it is that is your definition of success, this podcast has been created to help you to achieve it. So if you are serious about achieving success in Africa, I want you to subscribe to this podcast. Click the like button. Send me your comments and your feedback and your questions. This podcast is brought to you courtesy of BCA Leadership, Africa's largest leadership coaching company. If you have questions for me that you want me to answer after watching this video, log on to BCA online. The link is on the screen. Post your questions there. That is where I will respond. In episode one, I shared about the importance of writing down your vision. And last week in episode two, we learned about the importance of keeping your promises. If you haven't listened to these podcasts, I do encourage you to do so after this video. They contain some foundational principles for success that you need to follow in order to be successful in Africa. So today's nugget of success wisdom is this. Feed your mind with intention. Let me say it again. Feed your mind with intention. You see, fellow African, every day our minds are being fed. There is information that is entering your brain through your five senses and that information affects your thinking and your decision making. Your decision making then affects or determines your success. So what you feed your mind with will determine how successful you are going to become. Everybody, whether it is Aliko Dangote, Strive Masiwa, or you, has the same 24 hours in a day to feed their mind. But not everybody makes wise decisions. Because not everybody is intentional about feeding their mind. Let me tell you about a gentleman by the name of Joe Abbas Bangura, who epitomizes this. From 2009 to 2020, the fastest growing company in Sierra Leone was a company called ACTB Sierra Leone. ACTB stands for A Call to Business. ACTB started off as a partnership between Joe Abbas Bangura, a Sierra Leonean accountant, and Paul Skiller, a British investor. Prior to 2007, 
Joe Abbas was a chartered accountant working full-time for Africell, the telecommunications company. Like many chartered accountants in Sierra Leone, Joe made a decent salary in his job. Unlike many chartered accountants, Joe was not satisfied with having qualified as a chartered accountant. He had much bigger dreams. He was passionate about developing young people in Sierra Leone, creating new businesses, and creating passive income for himself and his family. Anyone who knew Joe knew that at any time he would be reading a book that was related to one of these three passions. In fact, when I met him and he discovered that I was a leadership scholar, he asked me so many questions that I was tempted to charge him consultancy fees just for our first conversation. Joe's interest in creating new enterprises and developing young people led to a chance encounter with Paul Skiller. And within minutes of their conversation, they recognized each other's passion and a partnership was born. ACTB Sierra Leone started off as a microfinance business. To get started, Joe devoured every piece of literature about microfinance lending that he could get his hands on. And the business grew under his leadership. But he was not satisfied with success in micro-lending alone. He continued to see challenges in Sierra Leone that needed to be solved and would educate himself on how to solve these challenges by reading books, listening to podcasts, watching educational videos, and asking knowledgeable people. Within a decade of its inception, ACTB Sierra Leone had expanded into a printing press, an IT solutions business, a poultry farm, a restaurant, a training company, and a marketing and design consultancy. In fact, today, the microfinance business has been spun off into a savings and loans institution with a CEO trained by Joe, and now Joe runs the group that oversees the training company and the printing press. How did Joe succeed in starting and leading such a diverse group of businesses and growing them into companies that today employ hundreds of people? By ensuring that he fed his mind with intention. In 2007, Joe knew very little about microfinance institutions. By 2010, he was running a successful one because he was intentional about investing his time into learning about them. Similarly, in 2010, Joe knew very little about live TV or producing a TV show. By 2013, he was producing a weekly TV show called Life by Design, an inspirational program to show the youth of Sierra Leone ways in which they could improve their lives through various legal and ethical pursuits. Hmm. You see, today there is a long mile between the impact of Joe Abbas Bangura and that of many of the other chartered accountants who were his peers when they were all studying for the ACCA exam in the 1990s. Fellow African, achieving success requires you to prepare yourself for opportunities that will come your way. That preparation is the acquisition of the skills and knowledge that is necessary for you to have in order to achieve your vision. For example, if success for you is owning a pharmaceutical business, then you should be intentional about acquiring the skills and knowledge that a pharmaceutical entrepreneur must possess to establish such a business successfully. If it is to become a Nollywood star, then you must be intentional about learning about the industry, enhancing your acting skills, and expanding your networks in that business. 
If it is to create a private boarding school, then you should acquire skills and knowledge about the administration of an educational institution and the regulations involved in it. You see, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Let me say that again. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. To be successful, yes, you have to know what your long-term vision is and write it down. I shared this already in the first episode. Then you have to equip yourself with the skills and knowledge that are relevant to this long-term vision. If you do not prepare yourself, the opportunity may come around and you will not grab it or it will not grab you <laughs> because you have not prepared yourself for it. In the case of Joe, the opportunity was a chance meeting with Paul Skiller. If Joe had been, just imagine, if Joe had been content to stay an accountant and had not been acquiring the skills for creating new businesses and developing young people, Paul would not have been interested in partnering with him. It was Joe's focus and discipline to walk towards his vision that attracted Paul to him and convinced him that Joe would make a good partner. One of the unfortunate myths that some of our people in Africa carry, educated people, is that learning ends when you graduate from university. Such a sad myth. And you see, this perspective that learning ends when you graduate from university is true only for unsuccessful people. <laughs> Successful people in Africa understand that learning never ends. They understand that learning can occur through the reading of a book, listening to a podcast, watching a video, interacting with a knowledgeable person, and practicing a new skill. They understand that many of the resources needed for learning are freely available online, and they avail themselves regularly of these resources. They refuse to give in to intellectual laziness. I'm talking about the successful people now. They refuse to give in to intellectual laziness and complaining that learning something is too hard. For them, the only question is whether what they are learning is relevant to their vision. As long as it is relevant to their vision, they will be intentional about learning about it. If it is not relevant to the vision, they make the choice not to learn about it. This is why if you ask Joe about the names of six players on Manchester United, Chelsea, Arsenal, or any of the local football teams in Sierra Leone, he probably will not be able to tell you. It is not because he is not a fan of football. Oh, like many Africans, he was. The issue is that he has made a choice to be intentional about how he spends his time. Instead of feeding his mind with football games, teams, analysis, and trivia, he has recognized that these pieces of knowledge, while not harmful per se, are not relevant for the vision that he has for his life. And therefore, they are not useful to him. So he is intentional about what he feeds his mind. He gives his mind food that is relevant to his vision. And because of that, today, there are few people more sought after or admired in the world of business, entrepreneurship, youth development, and wealth creation than Joe Abbas Bangura. It is little surprise then that he was the leader of the fastest growing company in Sierra Leone for a decade. So, remember, please, you have the same 24 hours a day as Joe Abbas Bangura. 
What you feed your mind with today will determine your success in the future. So feed your mind with intention. Feed your mind with knowledge relevant to your vision. Invest your time in acquiring skills that are relevant to your vision. Learn to say no to some of the fun things that entertain but do not bring you closer to your vision. That's all I have for you today in episode three. Feed your mind with intention. Feed your mind with intention. I look forward to your comments and feedback about this podcast. Next week, I will share with you another important key to achieving success in Africa. Please don't forget, subscribe to the podcast, click the like button, tell your friends about it. Together, we can transform our beloved continent. See you next week. Tomorrow belongs to those people who prepare for it today. See you next week.